In this video, I would just like to explain some of the higher level settings relating to the overall MLS Island setup. I'm Andy Hotton, a solution specialist for switches and live production systems based at Sony. A total MLS system can comprise up to five MLS processors, also known as nodes, and these can be configured to provide up to four logical switches, with each logical switcher having one or two control panels assigned. These switches can be reconfigured for different production requirements as studio demands change in day-to-day -day operations. Let me just take you through an island setup. In any MLS island, one of the processors is assigned as a manager, and we recommend that this is the process with the Crosspoint card installed. For multi-node systems, this is also as supplied from the factory, but to change the setting, you need to access this from the liquid paper display on the front of the MLS X1 processor, and this action is described in the manual. In all other videos of the series, Jacob has been using the switcher operational menus, which are accessed using the logical switcher IP address. The island is set up and managed using the MLS manager menus, which are accessed using the IP address of your processor, which is set as the master and you just need to add slash MMGR on the end of the URL. So let me guide you. So this is my normal switcher menu. If I add a new tab, I go to the manager, and the URL here is the same IP address, and it's like slash MMGR on the end. And now you can see the slightly different menu, which is to do with your island setup. Everything really is contained under the system tab. First of all, in any system, you can configure the different panels in your network. So if I look at Studio One panel, I can click on Studio One, it tells me what the four different rows are of my panel, and these are my four rows in front of me. If I want to, I can release a module from the row and then reassign it back in as needed. If I want to see which row is which, if I click on the Send Beacon button on the right-hand side, it will make the control panel flash. So for example, the bottom one here, MK7026 is this row, I click Send Beacon, and you'll see this panel is now flashing to, to identify that. So I can configure any group of panel modules to become a complete panel in a studio. So for example, this is my Studio One. Once you've configured all your panels for your different operational areas, you then build your island up. So this is all contained under the Island tab. This is where you configure your MLS X1 system into your islands of up to four logical switches. You basically work top to bottom down this menu tree. First of all, you detect and refresh. And as you, when you push detect, it's going to look at everything in your network. So where we can see, at the moment, I've got one primary processor, which is my MLS processor, out, out of the back there, and then to my panel strip here, which is all Studio One. If I look at the logical switcher config, now I've only got one processor and one panel, but if you have multiple processors, you can assign your resource for different processors. So my logical switcher one, currently I've not got a panel assigned to it. So what I want to do is assign my Studio One panel to this processor. So I click Studio One, I click a blank spot there because each MLS X1 system can have two panels, and I click Assign. So that's now assigned this panel to, against my processor. Various other things can be managed through this chain, and once you've got to the bottom, you can apply the config. So I want to say this, yes, apply config, I apply all config. You then reboot the system by clicking OK, and then reconfigures the system accordingly. It's now done that, and as you'll notice, the red lights on the panel have gone out, meaning it's going to be reconfiguring this, but it hasn't affected any of the video processing. The video path has been maintained. The panel's now rebooted, and we've got full control of the switcher. For example, my bottom row here is on my PP bus, and I can do a wipe on my PP bus, and there you can see it's actually on air wiping my PP bus. Obviously, once you've set your whole panel up, you can set this as a configuration file, you can save, you can load and apply, save your different setups available for different days. The other important thing here is the power, and this is where you can shut down your whole island and reboot the island. I hope this gives you a good overview of what is possible inside the MLS Manager application. But for more information, please refer to the user guide. This is accessed by clicking the three dots at the top right hand side of your menu. And you can click on the user guide, then English, 
This will open a PDF version of the user guide on your screen. And if you scroll down, and there's chapter 33, is the MLS Manager. It, tells, it describes all the action inside the MLS Manager. Thank you very much for watching.